All right, continuing with webcam demo LabVIEW project, we're now looking at the video stream version of main. I have my webcam attached to the USB port of my Rio. Going to now open up the video stream version of main. Let's go ahead and get this running. And I'm looking at the source on the left side. That's what the webcam sees. And then I have my process version on the right side. You can select various processing modes right there. Let me just pan the camera for a little bit just to confirm that it is in fact processing in real time. Here you can pick your specific webcam. If you have multiple webcams attached by USB, you would have multiple to choose from. Here you see the video mode, the resolution in particular. Here I'm measuring the frame rate of the main processing loop. Also I have parameters for the edge detector style of processing. Let's give that a, give that a try. Pick detect edges. Let's try adjusting this upward just a little bit for the high threshold. Try just a little bit higher. And at that particular value, it looks like the most prominent edge feature is the little triangle part of the LabVIEW logo. All right, you can see those detected edges moving around a bit. Show Luma. That extracts the Luma or gray level version of the original image. Show Hue extracts the color representation. In this case, different gray levels correspond to different colors. For example, the yellow looks like it's a fairly dark level. Red looks like a fairly bright level. So we see two hot spots showing up in the process version. Let's go back to pass through. I uh, draw your attention to the frame rate indicator. When you're doing edge detection on an image of this res resolution, the frame rate goes down considerably just due to the processing time. When you go to something that does not demand very much processing, however, then the frame rate goes up. Here's a control where you can adjust a property of the webcam itself. This is the saturation or color saturation attribute and you can adjust it between 0 and 255. I'll put this back into the show hue processing. It's kind of interesting to note here that show hue doesn't really vary at all depending on the color saturation as long as it can see some degree of color. So for example, looking at these red um, regions, you can see they show up as white hot spots and they are still very much visible until there is no color left whatsoever. But as long as there's even a hint of color, it can pull those colors out. All right, let's take a look at the block diagram details. Here I begin by opening a session to the the webcam. Open camera is located under iMac DX sub palette. Here's where I'm adjusting the video mode of the camera presently set to zero. The video mode is adjusted with a property node, and you can find that in three places, iMac DX, just iMac by itself, and you can also look under application control. So this is the same property node, it just appears in multiple places. In particular, the video mode property can adjust the resolution, and depending on your webcam, it can also be used to adjust the frame rate. So I'm going to select video mode four. And if you look carefully right here, you'll see that the resolution drops down to 160 by 120. 
and especially for something like the edge detector, we see that the frame rate is much faster now. Makes the processing much more responsive. Try a little bit different threshold there. And that works pretty good. Now in this section, continuing with the initialization, I have iMac DX configure grab that's located right here. And that sets up for processing within the loop by grabbing the next available image. Here I'm using an enumerated control for the case structure selector. You can find the enumerated control right here. There it is, enumerated control for silver edition. Now if you right click on that control and select edit items, that's where you can type in your desired labels and each one of those is also associated with a numerical value. Those labels in turn, when connected to the case structure, automatically show up as labels for the subdiagrams. Each subdiagram can contain its own processor, for example, detecting edges, showing the Luma image, showing hue image, and then pass through with nothing going on, of course. So in this particular case, I'm extracting the color planes and then passing through the canny edge detector. Now after that case structure, the result is fed directly to the processed image on the right. Now here's where I'm adjusting the property. In this case, I'm adjusting the color saturation of the webcam. When this is true, we can set the attribute. When it's false, it's just a do nothing. Here I'm using another property node where I've connected to the active attribute. This is found under then camera attributes, active attribute. Then we also need camera app attributes value unsigned 32 integer. And that's the level control back here for the color saturation level. This string, camera attributes, double colon saturation, double colon value, that specifies specifically color saturation. Here I'm measuring the frame rate. This is basically constructed from the tick count, which returns the number of milliseconds. Here I'm keeping track of what was the result from the previous pass through the loop, taking the difference between the two, and then converting that to frame rate in frames per second. And finally, when you hit the stop button, have a little bit of cleanup here at the end by way of closing the camera, and then freeing up the memory that was earlier allocated by iMac Create.